loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, so guys, we're just going to do a super quick, quick, quick intro. Um, if you guys are interested in crystals to help clear the chakras, anxiety, depression, you could visit Kim K Crystals. Um, the link for her website is below, and she also does Facebook Lives a couple times a week, which are really awesome. All that info is below. Recommended readers are also below. Um, we're going to be starting the uh, giveaways again, okay? So um, I had to stop that for a couple months, but we're going to be starting up again. So the winners will be announced at the beginning of the month, okay? So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, in the description box below, you're going to see a list of everything that I give away every month. And all you have to do is go to the comment section and hashtag what you would like to win, okay? Um, and winners will be announced uh, at the beginning of every month. Um what else do I want to tell you guys? Um, for uh, live readings with me or video readings with me, so I will be going on live and doing uh, live question readings um, at least a few times a week, uh, or you can book a reading with me through my website, which is listed below, okay? Um, and last but not least, guys, when leaving a comment, um, if you have something negative that you would like to say about the reading, you are more than welcome to drop a comment. Um, just please be aware that as a reader, it doesn't really affect me because, you know, I clear my energy and ground all day long. Um, but there are plenty of people that this reading will resonate with, so please try to not disregard or disrespect the people that are hurting um you know we are a family here and we try to be kind to one another so if the reading doesn't resonate with you um you know try to be understanding for the people that it does resonate with uh last but not well i already said last but not least <laughs> um Guys, these uh, readings could be energy in or around you. So this could be something you're going through, something your person's going through, um, or it could be, you know, something that a close friend or family member is going through. Um, this could also be, uh, you know, it is intended to be love, but this could also be for a friend or family member, okay? It could be, you know, anybody that you care about, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with your reading, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, my loves, let's see what we have here today for my beautiful Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, so my loves, we're going to um, do a uh, quick message on messages that I picked up on channeling from Oracle, and then we'll get into the reading, okay? So Cancer, I feel like I didn't necessarily pick up your energy when I was... Uh, meditating on you it could be you know this could be your energy could be your person's energy you take it as it resonates um but cancer i feel like someone here got fed up waiting someone here got uh, fed up waiting for something that they wanted to happen so either someone was sitting around waiting to reconcile with somebody or somebody was sitting around waiting for the other person to act right maybe um or someone was waiting for a phone call an apology a message I, like i said it could be your energy cancer um I feel like this is someone that you may have walked away from though, Cancer, because I feel like someone's realizing, okay, you know, it's kind of like this energy of, okay, me and Cancer aren't going to ever, you know, get back together or it's never going to work out between us. So I'm going to go be happy. I'm going to leave this and I'm going to go party. I'm going to go drink. I'm going to go um, date. I'm going to go have fun with my life. I'm going to go be happy because Cancer doesn't want me back. Um, but the problem is I feel like someone is reaping some form of karma cancer because they're not finding the love that you gave them. Do you understand? And the reason why this is happening is because this person is not learning their lessons. They're not understanding what they need to change in order to have that type of love or blessing in their life. Does that make sense? So I, I really do feel like the energy that I picked up on is someone that you may have walked away from. Now, Cancer, if you find that, you know, you gave up on somebody and you went to go date and you went to go party and you're not having any luck in love, that may be a, a karmic situation where you haven't learned your lessons. So it's just something to think about, right? So let's go ahead and pull some Oracle here. Your dreams need a practical plan. Guys, if you hear a little noise, it's just because the uh, I have the window open and the trees are are blowing man holding a heart F 
financial constraints, the vast universe, victim mentality. So let's just start here, Cancer, okay? So your dreams need a practical plan. With man holding a heart and financial constraints, this may be someone who thinks that if they give a little bit of love but give nothing else to the connection, then they should be treated like a king or a queen, right? Um, or like that if they're romantic. Like this might be someone that buys you flowers every so often, let's just say, or they give you a sweet card or they act sweetly towards you every once in a while. But then they don't bring anything else to the table, kind of. Um, I feel like that's why this has ended cancer. I feel like this is why, you know, with that vast universe, it could be a karmic cycle between you and this person uh, where both of you maybe have lessons to learn here. With victim mentality, though, someone here feels like they were the victim. You know what I'm saying? This person feels like they were the victim. This person had big dreams. They had big dreams. They thought that if they could just, you know, I, I feel like this person thought that they could just kind of like, I don't know why I want to say manipulate, like sweet talk you into this beautiful future without actually loving you correctly or doing the right thing. And the fact that you're shutting the door on them or the fact that they're shutting the door on you, I don't know, take it as it resonates. Um, someone here feels victimized. Like, how could they just leave me? How could they, you know, how could they do this to me? Yada, yada, you know, the, this whole sh spiel that they're giving themselves. Um, I don't know why I have like an itch here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull three of um, my Oracle cards, which the deck is massive because, you know, go big or go home. So let's go ahead and uh, put this into three piles and then we will take one from each pile. Okay, so I made this deck and uh, there's a whole bunch of info in here. So let's go ahead and do this. Spirit, give me one for cancer, please. Give me one for cancer. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of fighting. Stop attacking my ego. So Cancer, this may be somebody that brings very little to the table, but again, wants to be treated like a king or a queen. This is someone that's got a big ego and thinks that if they just do a little thing here or there, that they should be treated like, tell me about Cancer, please. Oh, we got two there. I'll fix it. And not ready to settle down. So, Cancer, this person has been non-committal. They've been non-committal. But then again, under the deck, we have I need you and your love. So, Cancer, this person needs you. They want your love. They want your time. They want your attention. They want long-term future with you. They want all the benefits of being with you. But they don't want to commit to anything. They don't want to give anything to the connection. They don't want to fight. They're tired of fighting. But at the same time, they don't want to put any of the work in. They say they're going to fix it. But are they really going to fix it? This person has a lot of dreams, but they're not being practical in what they're expecting for what they're giving. Tell me. Oh. Seeing you with them kills me. And third party friend. Cancer, there may have been, um, okay, so you may be um, off with a person that you're just speaking to as a friend and it's really hurting this person. Um, or Cancer, this person may have had what they said was a friend, but it really hurts you. Like, you know when you just know something's off, you know what I'm saying? So you're in this relationship giving your all, this person is giving nothing back, plus they may have had someone that they were like, oh, this person's just a friend, 
You know what I'm saying? They're just a friend. Um, but it was killing you. This this friend situation was like, and I feel more or more than likely that is especially with not wanting to settle down. This friend situation may have you know gotten in the way here. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful cancers. Tell me about Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about oh. So let's see here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Judgment card, Sagittarian Energy. We have the Devil card, Capricorn Energy. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Energy. And we have the Two of Cups. Under the deck, we have the Star, Aquarian Energy. Cancer, here's the deal. Here's the deal. You made, I'm feeling here that, you know, this could be your side too, because I feel like you made a decision that was best for you, Cancer. And I feel that you might be in a new relationship, possibly. Okay, you might be in a newer relationship because we've got the King of Pentacles here and the Two of Cups. The Star card under the deck, the Eight of Swords and the High Priestess. This is interesting. I'm trying to figure out what side this is. If this is your side, your person side, maybe even the third party side. Uh, honestly, Cancer, I think this might be the third party friend side. Because with the Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment card, you're dealing with someone here that basically made decisions that were best for them and only them. With the Devil card, the Two of Cups, and the King of Pentacles, someone here, Cancer, may have been very jealous over your relationship with this person. And with the Star card, the Eight of Swords, and the High Priestess, someone here secretly maybe was just very obsessed with your person. And, you know, with the Star card, um, they had a lot of hope that they could make this work. So I feel like there may have been a third party, quote unquote, friend in the mix here between you and this person. Um, I feel like this is the side of the third party. I'm, I'm just saying, like, let's see here. Let's clarify to make sure. Tell me about... The Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, the Judgment card here, and the Ace of Swords. Cancer, I feel like the third party took a chance and came out and spoke their truth and say, hey, listen, I still have feelings for you. Tell me about the Devil card and the Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Cancer, this is someone that was very jealous of the Ten of Pentacles that you and this person had. They were very jealous. For those of you new to tarot, Ten of Pentacles is like long-term stability, long-term goals, long-term future. Someone here, I feel like was, they were jealous of it. And with the King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, I feel like someone here wanted to keep someone for themselves. Two of Cups here for Cancer. And the lover's card. You see how there's a couple there and that snake looking over them? Do you see that, Cancer? I feel like there was a couple here. And I feel like there was a third party person here that spoke their truth and decided to just go for it. Take that leap of faith. And this decision, and look at what we have under the deck here. Wow, the same cards, Cancer. So we've got the star card here. And we've got the star card right here. We have the eight of swords right here and the Eight of Swords right here. We have the Judgment card right here, and the Judgment card is next right here. So Cancer, I feel like someone here was making decisions because they were in like tortures, that they were torturing themselves with hope and having faith that if they made certain decisions here, that maybe they could have a second chance with your person. If these two were together, like maybe you were dealing with a, a person who was still friends with their ex or something along those lines or somebody that they dated or hooked up with at one point in time. This person was making decisions wanting to end something, wanting change. With the Three of Cups and the Six of Wands, I feel like someone here was wanting to reconcile with your person or come together with your person in some way, shape, or form. And... Cancer, you may have known this. 
you may have known that, you know, this person's up to no good. I don't want you talking to this person. And your person may have been like, listen, we're just friends. Nothing's happening. You know, it may have been one of those type of things. Meanwhile, this third party, your instincts and your intuition were right, are out to, in fact, take your person. Tell me about Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Tell me ooh, about Cancer, please. We've got the Moon card, Cancer, Piscean, Energy. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We've got the Hierophant in the reverse, Taurus, Energy. We've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. We've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. I'm going to pull one more since this side had five. And we have the Hermit, Virgo, Energy. Under the deck, we've got the Tower, Page of Wands, and the Chariot. Cancer, I feel like there are secrets happening here. There's secrets happening here. There's something you're not seeing. With the High Priestess in the reverse, someone here is being non-committal. Cancer, there's two people here. Okay, it could be two men, could be two women. We don't read gender and tarot, but there you are. Queen of Cups, a uh, King of Cups, and there's the King of Wands. So there's a love person, and then there's a sexy, hot, passionate person. So it's, it's like, you know, there's one... Uh, there's two people here. Someone here is, is have, they have a secret. They're being non-committal here. They have a secret. They've got two separate situations going on. And with the hermit here, Virgo energy, if you were to stop and truly think and analyze the situation, you would see it. Okay. And I think that you do because with the tower here, everything's crashing down. Either cancer, you're going to see a message, find a message, or a message is coming in, or you're going to tell this person, listen, I'm done. I'm doing what's best for me with the chariot. Yeah, I, 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 something here is about to blow up. Let's see. Tell me about the moon card here for Cancer. The Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Hierophant in the reverse, please. The Fool card in the reverse. Someone here is taking risks that they should not be taking. Someone here may be even spending money on this third party person or breadcrumbing you to be with that third party person, giving time and attention. Tell me about the King of Cups here. The Tower. Yeah, I, I, Cancer, I feel like you're the one who's about to... Uh, blow this this thing up you're about to be you know and it could this could also be a representation cancer of your world falling apart when you find this out tell me about this king of wands ten of wands in the reverse tell me about this hermit the sun card in the reverse cancer yeah i i feel like someone here started talking to someone new Okay, it's a secret. This person is supposed to be committed. And now because they started talking to someone new, they don't know what they want. They don't know what they want. The thought of leaving stresses them out. Okay, but then again, they can't stop thinking about this third party person. And then boom, someone here finds out the truth. Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords. So I feel like, you know, yeah. I feel like, uh, again, the channeling message that I got, remember how I told you I didn't feel it, like it was your energy? So apparently it's the third party person. I feel like someone here may be, like there may be a third party person here or somebody wants a third party person and they're realizing that it's not coming to fruition or that they shouldn't want this person. They're having a hard time not wanting this person. Someone here just wants to go. They want to party. They want to have sex with this person. They want to be with this person. Um, but when and if they do, karma will strike here. You know what I'm saying? Um, when and if they do, karma will strike here. Because I feel like with the hermit here and the sun card in the reverse, this person is trying to figure out answers. They're trying to figure out what they should do. They're trying to figure out, should I give up on the king of wands? Should I give up on the king of cups? And again, gender doesn't matter. And someone here doesn't know what to do. You know, they don't know what to do. But I feel like they're going to be caught before the truth comes out. The challenge here is the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Tell me about the challenge here for Cancer. And the Six of Swords. 
Tell me about the challenge here for Cancer. Oh, goodness. The Eight of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Three of Swords under the deck. Cancer, the challenge here is, is somebody using their head, not their heart, moving on. Moving on, defending themselves, blocking somebody. The, the challenge is going to be walking away from this. Walking away from somebody who's breaking your heart and with the world card shutting that karmic cycle. Tell me about... I was going to say the outcome here, Queen of Cups, Eight of Swords, and the Star. So I feel like the outcome is this person is still really obsessed with you. Oh, here we got the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the outcome here for Cancer. Cancer, I feel like this person's going to tell you that they're going to get rid of the third party. Four of Pentacles in the reverse with the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like someone here, Cancer, is going to tell you that they're going to get rid of the third party, but either you don't want to hear it because you don't believe them, or um, they're saying whatever they need to say to overcome the challenge of you leaving, but it's not true. Okay? So, Cancer, I'm going to leave everything as is, and we're going to take it into the extended and go a little bit further into this Queen of Wands energy. Um, you know, who is this person? Uh, you know, should you leave? Should you stay? Should you go? Because we're going to focus on this challenge a little bit more here. Um, what will happen if you stay? What will happen if you go? I'm sorry. There's a truck outside. There's so much noise. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.